to meet you where you been I could show you incredible things Magic, madness, seven sin Saw you there and I thought Oh my god, look at that face You look like my next mistake Love's a game, wanna play mm, yeah. no money, suit and tie I can read you like a man Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a makeup tutorial. I mentioned in my favorites video that I wanted to do a tutorial with the Sigma Warm Nutris Palette that I got a while back because I have been loving it and I wanted to do more of a dramatic look with it. So I went ahead and created this soft pink cut crease look. This is one of those palettes that's a neutral palette but you can create normal everyday neutral eye looks and you also can create dramatic looks as well and I wanted to do more of a dramatic look with it. And I also wanted to mention that I do have a 10% off discount code for this palette and anything on Sigma's website so definitely check out the description box below for a 10% off discount. So that is enough rambling for me so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys would like to see how I got this look then be sure to keep watching thanks guys hi guys so I'm starting out with my foundation and my brows and all that I already done and I'm gonna take this paint pot from MAC it's in Nicola Soft Orchard I'm gonna use this as a base I do have on my primer already and I just want to go ahead and add this on as a base of course I'm going to be using the Sigma Warm Neutrals palette in this tutorial because I'm absolutely obsessed with it and I'm gonna take this mauve color in the color Innocent, which is just the mauve color I was just pointing to. And this is going to work as a base and it's going to kind of help set that paint pot. I really didn't need to set it, but this is going to work as like a transitional color, so I'm putting it all over my lid. Next, I'm going to take this felt tip liner from CoverGirl and I'm just going to line a little bit above the fold in my eye because that's where I want my crease cut crease look to go and it's going to be a very precise uh, cut crease so I wanted it to be exactly right so I'm using a felt tip liner to outline it first and then I'm going to go in and blend it out more with shadows and as you can see I'm also winging it out as well next I'm going to go in with this color called Reset and it's the like brownie color in this palette and a pimpser brush and I'm going to just blend out that liner that I just applied and as you can see I'm going to be blending it upward because I want it to work as a transitional color as well this worked better as getting it to look like a transitional color then actually adding a transitional color in because it's mixing in with the innocent color that I have on already so all of it together just kind of looked transition versus me going in and adding a different shadow if that makes any sense because I've tried adding a different shadow and just didn't work so me blending it up just kind of made it look put together And it's okay if you get a little bit on the lid because we are going to take care of that. But I'm just going to make sure I blend it up because blending it up will also help it to stay precise and not really get on the lid. Alright, I'm going to go back in with that same paint pot and I'm going to take a concealer brush and I'm just going to apply it on my lid and kind of clean up that area where I drew the liner at. Um, this is just going to help it stay clean and precise and a lot of people you can leave it this color if you want a beige one but I really wanted it to be pink so I went ahead and I mixed the two pink colors together. The first one is called Orchard Sand which is the lighter pink and the other one is called Optimistic and I just mixed the two together to get the right color pink that I wanted. So I'm taking a Sigma shading brush and I'm just going to apply that to my lid. As you can see I am taking it out along with that wing all right and then i'm going back in with the color mild mannered and i'm going to use that as a brow bone highlight it has a little bit of shimmer in it but it's kind of a mauvey color i'm going to go back in with brochette and i'm going to apply that to my lower lash line and i'm a little out of focus here so sorry about that but i'm just taking it straight across across my lash line and i'm not taking it up into my tear duct i'm going to just keep it straight I'm going to go back in with a little bit of that 
uh, whatever's left on that brush, the concealer brush with the paint pack. And I'm going to take the same mix two pink colors that I have and I'm gonna just apply that in the area that I left open under my eye as you can see I'm doing here on my lower lash line all right so time for liner I'm gonna go in with the best gel liner of all time and it is the Maybelline uh, eye studio gel liner and black is black and I'm just going to apply my wing liner and as you can see I'm keeping it in line with the other wing that I have going on all right and i'm gonna add a little bit of a black eyeliner this is a, a cold liner from rummel and then i'm gonna go ahead and finish up my face makeup so i'm gonna set the concealer that i have on my face um with this elf and twin blush and bronzer set in the color takes turks and caicos and i'm actually gonna be using the bronzer from this side to set the concealer i have on my face but I'm also going to be using the blush as well to just add a little bit of color back to my face. I love this blush. It has a little bit of a highlight as you can see. So I'm going to actually just apply it on the apples of my cheeks and take it back towards um, above on top of that bronzer. And for my normal highlighting routine, I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. Healthy Glow Bronzer and just add it to the areas of my face where I'm naturally glowing at. And then I'm going to go in with this Physicians Formula Bronzer and it's a shimmer sprick which is just a highlighter and just add that to the highest points of my cheekbones down to reach my nose and my cupid spot. And I'm just going to take a powder brush with nothing on it and just blend everything together just to make everything look put together. Alright, I'm going to add a little bit of mascara. I had the list of mascaras that I used below because this clip is not that long. And I'm moving on to my lips. I'm going to go in with this Jordana lip liner in the color Cabernet. And I'm just going to line my lips. And then I'm going to go in with Max Rebel lipstick. This lipstick is a satin, but I was really feeling more of a matte lip today. So I'm going to blot it with tissue and then I'm going to set it with a translucent lucent powder and to make it matte and this is the completed look all right guys so that is the completed look i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up be sure to check out my previous video below me and also you can check out okeviahoward.com which is right beside it that is my fashion blog where i update my latest fashion posts check out all of my social media sites right beside that and i think that is about it so i hope you guys are having an amazing day have you guys tried this palette let me know in the comment below your thoughts on this look and this palette if you recreate it then be sure to take me in it with the it how it looks and I would definitely check it out I think that is about it I hope you guys are having an amazing day and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys